Next we're going to show you how to image the gallbladder and you can really use two windows depending on which one works best for the particular patient. Uh, one of the two windows that I usually use is a subcostal window and your probe may be slightly oblique to the patient's body but essentially what you want to do is open up the gallbladder completely and um, so again you might not be perfectly sagittal to the body to get a sagittal gallbladder and from here once you find that elongated gallbladder you just sweep through next we'll get a transverse image of the gallbladder in this same window and what you want to do is just look at your probe and kind of think about in your head if you turn your probe 90 degrees you should be perfectly set up for a transverse gallbladder so this is our transverse plane and if you go back 90 degrees the other way this should be your sagittal plane here Another real good window for the gallbladder, especially for bigger patients or gassy patients, is if you come intercostal and you're going to kind of angle up towards the anterior part of the abdomen. Again, you, you're just going to open up the gallbladder to get its widest portion here. And same thing, once you find that sagittal window to get a transverse look at your probe and turn it 90 degrees to that plane. For the gallbladder we also get decube pictures just to make sure there's no stones trapped in the fundus or I'm sorry in the neck of the gallbladder so for that I'm gonna have you turn on to your left side away from us and for this the gallbladder usually moves a little bit forward so after you get your supine pictures of the gallbladder you want to make sure you decube the patient just to make sure there are no stones that are stuck in the neck of the gallbladder you have the patient turn on their left side away from you and that usually brings the gallbladder forward here so we're gonna kind of come subcostal here and just kind of sweep through and you should see the gallbladder very anterior here and I like to start in a sagittal plane from here and if there are any stones they should drop into the fundus of the gallbladder from this plane here this is also good for opening up the neck of the gallbladder to make sure there's no stones that are impacted in the neck of the gallbladder here. Once you get your sagittal sweep, you're going to want to make sure you again turn your probe 90 degrees and just sweep through in a transverse plane just to make sure you're not missing anything. You can also see the porta hepatis and the CBD from this decube position as well. For this, you want to elongate the main portal vein and you'll see it track right up into the liver and then once you find that you know that the gall the uh, CBD and the hepatic artery are right next to each other here tweaking the probe until you find or till you elongate one of these tubular structures next to the main portal vein. And the easiest way to see if you're on the hepatic artery or the CBD is to just turn on color and see if it lights up. If it lights up, you're pro you are on the hepatic artery. And if it doesn't, you know that's the CBD.